Hello, my reading friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, I'll be reading The Recess Queen. If you have a copy, go and get it, and we'll read it together. And if you don't want to miss any of my new stories, click on the little blue butterfly in the corner of the screen. Come read with me. The Recess Queen, written by Alexis O'Neill, illustrated by Laura Haliska Beeth. Mean Jean was Recess Queen, and nobody said any different. Nobody swung until Mean Jean swung. Nobody kicked until Mean Jean kicked. Nobody bounced until Mean Jean bounced. If kids ever crossed her, she'd push them and smush them, lula pollution, em, hammer them, slam them, kits and kajammer them. Say what? Mean Jean growled. Say who? Mean Jean howled. Say you! Just who do you think you're talking to? Mean Jean always got her way. Until one day. A new kid came to school. Katie Sue. A teeny kid. A tiny kid. A kid you might scare with a jump and a boo. But when the recess bell went ringity ring, this kid ran zingity zing for the playground gate. Katie Sue swung before Mean Jean swung. Katie Sue kicked before Mean Jean kicked. Katie Sue bounced before Mean Jean bounced. The kid you might scare with a jump and a boo was too new to know about Mean Jean, the recess queen. Well, Mean Jean bullied through the playground crowd. Like always, she pushed kids and smushed kids. Lula pollution kids. Hammered them, slammered them, kits and jammered them. And she charged after that Katie Sue. Say what? She growled. Say who? She howled. Say you! She snarled and grabbed Katie Sue by the collar. Nobody swings until Queen Jean swings. Nobody kicks until Queen Jean kicks. Nobody bounces until Queen Jean bounces. And she figured that would set the record straight. She figured wrong. Katie Sue talked back. Just as sassy as could be, she said, How did you get so bossy? Then that puny thing, that loony thing, grabbed the ball and bounced away. Oh, Katie Sue was one quick kid. She bolted quick as lightning. Bouncity, bouncity, bounce. Kickity, kickity, kick. Swingity, swingity, swing. Mean Jean thundered close behind. Bouncity, kickity, swingity. The recess queen was not amused. She raced and chased and in your face that Katie Sue. No one spoke. 
No one moved. No one breathed. <gasps> Then, Farmer Pack pulled Katie Sue, a jump rope clean and bright. Hey, Jeannie Beanie, sang Katie Sue. Let's try the jump rope out. Here's one thing true. Until that day, no one dared ask Mean Jean to play. But that Katie Sue just hopped and jumped and skipped away. I like ice cream. I like tea. I want Jean to jump with me. Jean just gaped and stared, as if too scared to move at all. So Katie Sue sang once more. I like popcorn. I like tea. I want Jean to jump with me. Then from the side, a kid called out, "Go, Jean, go!" And too surprised to even shout, Jean jumped in with Katie Sue. I like cookies. I like tea. I want you to jump with me. The rope whizzed and slapped. Faster, faster. The rope spun and flapped. Faster, faster. Till it caught in a tangled disaster. But they just giggled and jumped again. <laughs> well. Now, when recess rolls around, that playground's one great place. At the school bell's ringety ring, those two girls race zingety zing out the classroom door. Jean doesn't push kids and smush kids, lula paloosh kids, hammer 'em, slammer 'em, kids and kajammer 'em, 'cause. She's having too much fun, rumpety rumping with her friends. Bouncity, kickity, swingity, hoppity, skippity, jumpity, ringity, zingity, yes! I really admired how Katie Sue stood up to her bully by being kind. What a wonderful ending to a great story! It's not always easy to be kind to unkind people, but it's important because sometimes they need it the most. I really enjoyed reading the story with you today, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Until our next read, bye for now.